have to face a short-term problem of liquids because especially in this country we are so dependent on motorized vehicles that is the short-term crisis we are running out of oil for cars and trucks and buses and planes and everything else we need a liquid alternative uh, so people tell me well let's have more wind power and more solar power which is very appealing some people say nuclear power too but none of those are going to solve our short-term crisis of liquids and so for liquids I think the most promising is second generation ethanol not food ethan not not ethanol derived from food crops like corn but ethanol derived from the the corn stalks and wood chips and other biomass using enzymes what's called cellulosic ethanol this looks very promising to me but we do not have a single functioning cellulosic ethanol plant in commercial scale cellulosic ethanol plant in this country at this time a lot of money a lot of investment to I mean the technology is ready no I shouldn't even say that it's it's on a laboratory scale we have this technology but we have to move it to commercial scale production and a lot of investment money has to be put into this this I think is the priority so that's that's the short-term crisis of liquid transportation fuels I think is bio developing non-food crop biofuels looking into the future the the most promising strikes me is solar power because I think that's where the most progress is being made to harness the power of the Sun but there there's a mismatch between where the Sun is strongest in the American Southwest and where the need is greatest which is in northern california in the midwest and in the northeast and we don't have the transmission lines and the infrastructure and so on so there too you need a lot of investment and so forth mm -hmm.